When a mother and her son set out for a shopping trip on a warm December day in Florida, they never could have imagined the surprise awaiting them. After noticing an elderly gentleman in need of assistance, their lives were about to be transformed by a single act of kindness. Northport, Florida is not known for its cool weather even in December. On one of these warm days just before Christmas, Melissa Whittington arrived at the store with her son, Philip, to pick up a few items. As she approached the entrance, she didn't notice the older man standing outside the store, but she'd soon realize he was more than meets the eye. Bill Greenham was an 89-year-old senior who was living out his retirement in sunny Florida, enjoying his twilight years basking on the beach and taking in the sun. These stunning sunsets. He decided to do a little shopping for necessities on this particular day. Greenham was a proud Army veteran who had served the country during World War II. Seeing the horrors of war had changed him throughout the years, and now he was committed to serving others through random acts of kindness. Unfortunately, due to his age, his mobility was limited, and he had to walk with a cane. This made shopping for extended lengths of time quite difficult. It was just about at this time that Whittington and her son arrived. Greenham's grocery bag spewed oranges and other items onto the pavement. He struggled to bend over, trying to keep his balance so he could pick up the items. Would anyone come to his aid? Whittington didn't think twice about rushing over to help the struggling elderly man. She and Philip helped collect his items and made sure he was okay. It was then they began to strike up a conversation. Whittington revealed that it was Philip's ninth birthday, but sadly, she hadn't been able to purchase any birthday presents and Christmas was looking to be meager in the gift department. They had arrived at Walmart to pick up his broken glasses, which she had fixed in lieu of presents. Even though Greenham was a stranger, Whittington found herself opening up to him about her troubles. She revealed it had been a rough year financially and they were barely getting by. However, she wanted to make sure Philip's glasses were fixed, even though it was an expense she really couldn't afford. Greenham comforted the stressed mother and wished the young boy a happy birthday. He even said something that surprised Whittington. I want to do something for you. What would you like for the little boy? He said. Whittington was taken aback. Why would this stranger, an elderly man who could barely stand on his own, want to help her? However, there was another layer to this story unbeknownst to Whittington, and soon all would be revealed. The truth is, Greenham hadn't dropped his groceries by mistake. In reality, it had been an act to see who would come up and help him, and he wasn't working alone. There was a whole team of people involved in the elaborate setup, looking for people who would selflessly do a good deed. However, that wasn't all. Greenham was actually a volunteer at the Northport Police Department. The local police officers had placed cameras all around the parking lot and were watching the elaborate act from their cruisers. But why? Greenham's exchange with Whittington and Philip was all captured on video and aired on the local news. What happened next would cause the video to go viral on social media. You won't believe the twist in the story. As Whittington began to cry over Greenham's kindness and her current situation, he hugged her and told her that soon all would be okay. Meanwhile, inside the store, a group of workers was quickly wrapping gifts to take outside. The team inside were more volunteers, and they were trying to wrap presents as quickly as possible. The only way the entire setup would work is if the payoff at the end took place. She won't believe what happens next. Moments later, a group of people holding presents exited the store and approached Philip. It seemed he was going to get a birthday present after all, a brand new scooter. To say Whittington was overcome with emotion would be an understatement. The tears quickly began to flow as she saw the pure joy on her son's face. The entire operation was part of the Northport Police Department's Operation Santa Surprise. The goal was to provide random acts of kindness to those who helped him. Can you believe how awesome these officers are? According to the police department, they wanted to give back to the local community for Christmas. Therefore, they set up Greenham outside the store to see who would come to his aid when he dropped the groceries. Then they would reward whoever did. What a cool endeavor. We want to show not just only what Northport police officers are doing, but really show that police officers as a whole care. 
Police spokesman Josh Taylor said, the officers felt it was important to show the community that they weren't just out to penalize people for doing things wrong. Throughout the course of the day, the police department gave gifts to over 15 different families, and the giving didn't stop there. Police officers across Northport handed out gifts at routine traffic stops as well, timing up for the men in blue. Damn cops come out and give you a ticket or pull you over. They're always there to help you. And I think it shows the kids as they grow up, these officers are here to make things better, an emotional Whittington told Fox News. The officers continued to go above and beyond with their gift giving and even handed out presents to some of the Walmart workers. They were determined to spread as much Christmas cheer as possible. The generosity of the police officers made a major impact on Whittington, who had worried that Philip wasn't going to have a happy birthday or even a Merry Christmas. I'm shocked. I'm amazed that people are so generous at this time of year. We've been through so much this year, Whittington told Fox News. For these men to bless our family like that, I simply have no words. Philip deserves so much. He's such a good boy. And to say Philip wasn't grateful would be an insult to his kind character. When asked if Philip understood why the police department was doing this for people, he had the perfect reply. Well, it wouldn't be a Merry Christmas if you weren't nice to people. So true, Philip. We hope he and his family had a wonderful holiday and turn their luck around. It's amazing how a single act of kindness can change someone's perspective forever. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family to spread the enjoyment. Take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.